All right, we're back in the garage. In this video, we're going to try to replace the shock absorber from the CB77 Superhawk. Um, really, it's, well, it's a 50-year-old shock absorber. It's, there's not much damping going on anymore. It's really just a spring holder. Uh, so what I want to do is replace the shock absorber. And so what I've got, I ordered these from four into one. They're sort of, they're not really reproductions, I would say, but they're <clears throat> sort of Chinese-made copies of the, uh, these are CB, CB350 shock absorbers. So I'm going to open the original shock absorber off and get the spring covers off and transfer them over to this shock absorber so it looks more correct. Now this is the second one that I've done. I already did the other side, so I know it'll work. So hopefully this goes pretty smoothly. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the covers from the old shock absorber. And in order to do that, you need to sort of compress the cover. And you can get these two um, half moon wedges out of there. Now I've seen a couple different ways you could do that. I've seen a, a guy put a, a piece of wood up against his chest and then pull the shock absorber into the piece of wood. And I, I tried that first and I am not strong enough to actually compress the spring enough to get the, the wedges out. So what I ended up doing last time was I used this vise. I, I have this big vise that can luckily open up wide enough that I can actually compress the covers and remove the, the wedges. Okay, so I got the two wedges out. Now as I release the spring pressure with the vise, this upper plastic cap will just slide off. We can remove the spring. It's not too rusted into place. There we go. And the lower cover. Now this is a an early um, CB77 shock absorber, I believe. So this top cap actually is threaded on, so you could open that up and probably replace some seals and uh, fill it with oil again to renew it. But I do not have the seals for that, and I, I tried opening up the last one and it was a disaster. So I'm just going to replace the shock absorber with the new one and call it a day. So in order to remove the top of this shock absorber, you can see in there there's a, a nut backed up against it. This is threaded onto the shaft. For this particular shock absorber, this nut is 13 millimeters. So with that cap removed, we can take the spring off. There's also this little uh, washer spacer thing. And you have the adjustment collar at the bottom. So unfortunately, the covers will not fit over these springs. They're a little bit too large in diameter, so I'm gonna have to reuse the old springs. Before I put this back together, I'm gonna clean up the spring and the covers a little bit. Now it's time to put the shock absorber back together with the spring and the covers. I'm going to start by making sure the shock absorber is completely extended. And I'm going to put the lower chrome cover on directly over the adjustment ring. Slip the spring in. Next goes the upper plastic cover. And now it's going to get a little bit tricky because we need to compress the spring and get this top cap threaded onto the shaft. <laughs> so 
also there's a problem I forgot about. The cap does not fit into the hole of the, uh, the plastic cover, so we're going to have to remove that again and widen the top hole of the plastic cover. So the nice thing about this shock cap is that the hole for the shaft goes all the way through into the eyelet so that you can see the top of the shaft and you can make sure that as you're spinning this, trying to thread it on, that the shaft is also spinning and threading all the way up into the, into the top of the cap. So that's it, that's the new reproduction shock absorber with the old spring and the old spring covers and this will mount right up onto the Superhawk.